Here we are, back, back again to look at more of your fan designs on the Fan Showdown, a season two, episode eight. I'm James, this is Major Hardware, and this is another little video in the little series we got going on on the channel where you guys out there create, you know, what you think the best PC cooling fan is. Um, something better than this, doesn't have any fan blades. But then you take that design, you save it off as an STL file, you send it over to me and we print it out and do a little, do a little fiddling, a little, little testing. Sometimes the things I get are great, um, unexpectedly, and sometimes they are uh, not so great. But either way, we always have a good time. So if you want to get into the action, make sure to check out my Thingiverse, then send me your models, at least an STL file, to thefanshowdown at gmail.com. Or you can check out this little video I made. It kind of explains the whole process. But either way, let's get into it. The first fan that we're going to look at today is called the HB. Also, if you're wondering what the filament is we're using today, it's emerald green from Form Futra. Uh, it's kind of similar to the same red uh, Galaxy PLA we use, but green, and it actually looks uh, looks good. I, I didn't know what to expect when I looked at the little picture on the box, but I like it. I like it a lot. I'll leave a, I'll leave a link in the description below. A lot of you guys ask me what the filaments we use. The HB was created by Benry from South Africa in SketchUp. Uh, it's software I haven't used. Maybe I'll have to give it a shot. The HB is actually three different kinds of blades around its perimeter, and Benry said he did this to kind of allow the blades to play off each other's weaknesses to create a fan that, you know, performs better overall. That was like a good plan. Also, it gives it like a really unique look. Uh, one of those fans that is aesthetically pleasing to the eye, I would say. Also, it's got a little bit of uneven blade spacing going on, so if we know anything from the past fans we've tested, that should help quiet, uh, quiet things down a little bit. Next up, we got one called the Screaming Terror. It's a pretty aggressive name. The Screaming Terror was created by Nex Attic, I think it's pronounced, and he simply stated, he sent me the fan and then one line that said, I made this to be as loud as possible. <laughs> That's it. Now it looks like Nex Attic is trying to create like a whistle from how the blades look to be, you know, designed here. If you look at them, at first it kind of looks like he made like a tunnel, but the backside's closed off. So he's kind of made four little chambers that might give us a little whistle action as the air moves over the top of it. And on top of that, there's a little bit of pitch on these blades, so not only will it probably be quite loud uh, in comparison to other fans, it should actually cool because the blades look like they'll move a little air. It doesn't look like it'll perform super well, but who knows? Now, many of you guys are going to like this next one. I've seen this one commented a few times from people like, hey, you should make, uh, make this and do that. Well, somebody did it. Now, we all know that uh, Mother Nature is the OG of design, so why reinvent the wheel? Let's just, uh, let's just see what she would have done. This is the humpback and it was created by Petter. Petter said that he's a fan of sailing and aerodynamics and uh, whales, I think. I think he, did, he forgot to put whales in there, but I would assume whales as well, at least whale flippers. Now, if you've ever seen a humpback whale, I, I've actually never seen one in real life, but I've seen pictures of them. You know that the, the, the fins, their front fins there, they're not smooth. At least along the leading edge of a humpback whale's flippers are tubercles and these little humps or bumps play an important role when it comes to fluid dynamics. Sounds, uh, sounds important. I've actually learned while looking all this up that there's actually a company called Whale Power that puts these on uh, a lot of things. A lot of like wind turbines, computer fans, other fans, those ceiling fans. These benefits are what Petter is after and he went, he went a little above and beyond too. He wanted the layer lines to follow the blades as well. So this was actually printed as a two piece design and it required a little bit of assembly. So the hub and the blades were printed separately. And after they were done, I had to assemble them and add a little glue and boom. We got ourselves a whale fan. Now I, I need you guys, <laughs> yeah, I need everybody to prepare themselves mentally for this next fan because it's it's gonna arken back to one of the first episodes of the fan showdown, season one, episode two, if you'd like to go back and check it out. But in that episode, we had a fan that we called the Dr. Evil rocket fan. And it was designed after the iconic rocket ship in Austin Powers, you probably, you probably know of it, but the, the Durf, we'll call it, had one design flaw. The rocket blades were, they were too erect. They, they had no bite. And because of this, they were unable to penetrate the air properly to give us a good cooling. Well, somebody out there noticed this, Will, to be exact. And he said that this fan was born of hatred and 3 a.m. insomnia. And he continued to say that this design is highly sophisticated, like its predecessor, but, but elevated to the next level. This fan is what we can call the Durf 2.0. And it's everything the Durf one was, but bigger, harder, and more refined. This time sporting 16 blades with the iconic twin tubercles, 
at the base and a slight left bend towards the tip. Will has even carried the blade design into the hub, which is uh, what gives it a nice little accent. You know, a real presence, you could say. What, what do you think? Do you think it's gonna perform better than the Durf 1? Is the Durf 2 where it's at? Let me, uh, let me know what you think. Also, it's pretty funny that there's that many Austin Power fans out there. Didn't, uh, didn't know that. Noise-wise, the Durf 2.0 was a bit whiny with its large girthy blades coming in at around 54.5 dBA. The humpback was also surprisingly loud, coming in at 54.5 dBA. The screaming terror said it also came in at 54.5 dBA, so something's looking a little weird. With the HB being a bit softer at 53.3 dBA. And yes, I agree that those, those sound uh, readings, they look a bit sus. And I know that the, the meter wasn't on hold because the screen didn't say that, but it might be actually time to finally change the battery in it. Uh, a lot of you guys have noticed that the, it's been flashing that low battery for a long time, and maybe now it's starting to actually have an impact on it, I don't know. But from listening to the recordings, the Screaming Terror was for sure the loudest. And I think the humpback sounded the quietest to me. Let, let me know what you guys think, but I'm thinking Screaming Terror, loudest. Humpback, quietus. But when it comes to airflow, which uh, which one of these, which one of these fans do you think will have the most thrust? Now, based on what you guys have seen from the smoke test, the noise test, just looking at the designs of each blade, what, uh, which one do you think will be, will be the coolest? So after 20 minutes of Ida64 on my 7700K at 4.9 gigahertz, they finished as followed. The Screaming Terror finished with an average temperature of 78.1 at a room temperature of 20.2, giving us a delta of 57.9. The HB came in with an average temperature of 75.9 at a room temperature of 20, giving us a delta of 55.9. The humpback came in with an average temperature of 76.6 at a room temperature of 20.1, giving us a delta of 56.5. And the iconic Durf 2.0 came in with an average temperature of 75.3 at a room temperature of 20.2, giving us a delta of 55.1. Putting the Durf 2.0 in first, the HB in second, the humpback in third, and the screaming terror in fourth. And overall, we can start to see things are getting a little bit more shuffled up a bit as well. The Durf 2.0 will move to third overall, and the HB will move to fifth overall. 
But there you guys have it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed, hope you enjoyed the show. If you want to get involved, make sure to get out there, get designing. You can try. I have used Fusion 360 now. I can say it's halfway decent. It'll do what you need to. Uh, SketchUp, obviously, as you've seen, the, uh, which one of these was used SketchUp? I believe it was this one, the BH, the HB. So get out there, think about what you think the best fan looks like. Get it designed, send it to me at thefanshowdown at gmail.com. Need at least an STL file. We'll see you next time.